Joshua chapter 13, land still to be taken. When Joshua was old and well advanced in years, the Lord said to him, You are very old and there are still very large areas of land to be taken over. This is the land that remains. All the regions of the Philistines and Geshurites from the Sihor River on the east of Egypt to the territory of Ekron on the north, all of it counted as Canaanite, the territory of the five Philistine rulers in Gaza, Ashdod, Ashkelon, Gath, and Ekron, that of the Avites from the south, all the land of the Canaanites from Ara of the Sidonians as far as Aphek, the region of the Amorites, the area of the Gebelites, and all Lebanon to the east from Baal Ged below Mount Hermon to Lebo Hamath. As for all the inhabitants of the mountain regions from Lebanon to Misrapoth, Maim, that is, all the Sidonians, I myself will drive them out before the Israelites. Be sure to allocate this land to Israel for an inheritance as I have instructed you and divide it as an inheritance among the nine tribes and half of the tribe of Manasseh, division of the land east of the Jordan. The other half of Manasseh, the Reubenites and the Gadites, had received the inheritance that Moses had given them east of the Jordan, as he, the servant of the Lord, had assigned it to them. It extended from Aroer on the rim of the Arnon Gorge, and from the town in the middle of the gorge, and included the whole plateau of Mediba as far as Dibon, and all the towns of Shihan, king of the Amorites, who ruled in Heshbon, out to the border of Ammonites. It also included Gilead, the territory of the people of Gershur and Mecca, all of Mount Hermon, and all Bashan as far as Selica, that is, the whole kingdom of Og in Bashan, who had reigned in Ashtarah and Edrei, and had survived as one of the last of the Rephites. Moses had defeated them and taken over their land, but the Israelites did not drive out the people of Geshur and Mecca, so they continued to live among the Israelites to this day. But to the tribe of Levi he gave no inheritance, since the offering made by fire to the Lord, the God of Israel, are their inheritance, as he promised them. This is what Moses had given to the tribe of Reuben, clan by clan. The territory of Aor, on the rim of the Arnon Gorge, and from the town in the middle of the gorge, and the whole plateau past Mediba, to Heshbon, and all its towns on the plateau, including Dibon, Bamoth Baal, Beth Baal, Mion, Jahaz, Ketamoth, Mephatath, Kirathim, Sibma, Zerus Shahar on the hill and the valley, Beth Peor, the slopes of Pisgah, and Beth Jeshemoth, all the towns of the plateau, and the entire realm of Sihon, king of the Amorites, who ruled at Heshbon. Moses had defeated him and the Midianite chiefs, Evi, Rechem, Zur, Hur, and Reba, princes allied with Sihon, who lived in that country. In addition to those slain in battle, the Israelites had put to the sword Balaam, son of Beor, who practiced divination. The boundary of the Reubenites was the bank of the Jordan. These towns and their villages were the inheritance of the Reubenites, clan by clan. This is what Moses had given to the tribe of Gad, clan by clan. The territory of Jazer, all the towns of Gilead, and half the Ammonite country, as far as Aror, near Rabbah, and from Heshbon to Ramath, Hizpah, and Batanim, and from Mahanam to the territory of Deber, and in the valley, Beth Haram, Beth Nimrah, Sukkoth and Zaphon, with the rest of the realm of Sihon, king of Heshbon, the east side of the Jordan, the territory up to the end of the Sea of Kinnereth. These towns and their villages were the inheritance of the Gadites, clan by clan. This is what Moses had given to the 
half tribe of Manasseh, that is, to half the family of the descendants of Manasseh, clan by clan, the territory extending from Mahanam and including all of Bashan, the entire realm of Og, king of Bashan, all the settlements of Jair and Bashan, sixty towns, half of Gilead and Ashtaroth and Edre, the royal cities of Og and Bashan. This was for the descendants of Maker, son of Manasseh, for half of the sons of Maker, clan by clan. This is the inheritance Moses had given when he was in the plains of Moab, across the Jordan, east of Jericho. But to the tribe of Levi, Moses had given no inheritance. The Lord, the God of Israel, is their inheritance, as he promised them.